Hey guys, it's Jeff Sokol here with uh, rainforfuel.net. Just got a couple of things here to show you. Uh, first thing I want to show you is a uh, tin plate system that I put together. I have not yet hooked it up. Um, it's put together the same way as this 12 plate system in this box here. Uh, but we're going to, um, that's just for more output uh, for, for the torch. But we're going to go ahead and and uh, hook that up later on. Right here, we have our other 12 plate system, and we have our torch that I put together. Uh, that is the tip for a MIG welder, and you see that brass fitting there. I actually uh, tapped it out um, with a M16, I'm sorry, M61 uh, tap. And that's the size thread it is. And we have our little valve here from Home Depot, little ball valve, quarter inch hose, um, all the way back to the bubbler, and our electrolyzer, and our toggle switch. Um, I wasn't getting very good production earlier because my battery was getting low. And so I think that's what was causing a lot of my flashbacks. <clears throat> but I tried this earlier, and um, this torch, and it seemed to work out really well. Let's go ahead and see how it uh, how it works again. I'm gonna set the camera right here. We're gonna turn on. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. We're gonna turn on the unit. You can see all the hydrogen it's producing. Too much actually. It's producing so much hydrogen that it busted the uh, opened my bubbler up. Let's try that again. So we're going to open up our valve on here. This thing is producing like a madman. Really impressed with it. So, we'll try that again. And just one second. I like to put my safety glasses on before I, before I light anything. Because I've had enough flashbacks to know that that shit sucks. All right. Try it again. All right, we have a fire. Nice flame here. Really stoked about that. And let's see if we can burn anything with it. Immediately I see water vapor and it takes just a couple of seconds and we're out we're we're through the aluminum can. Just a couple of seconds. Looks like we're starting to get a little low on hydrogen and I don't want a flashback. How cool is that guys? Can't even hardly look at that. So bright. All right. So that's my new torch. I actually got that design uh, from one of the guys on on YouTube with us, and uh, <clears throat> it's a D3, I believe, and that's a .04. Um, uh, size MIG tip for that's a tip for a MIG welder size 0 0.04 um, I, I don't know exactly how much production we're getting out of this unit but it seems that uh, it's it's plenty for for that size tip D3 said to use a 0 0.03 which would probably actually work better um, it'd probably keep the flame a little more consistent but anyway I just tapped out that brass fitting there uh, and put that uh, tip on. The tip isn't even remotely warm. That's uh, which I think is the coolest thing in the world. And um, I like this right here. It allows you to shut off your flame. I did. There's a uh, brass wool inside here, and 
I used medium brass wool just because I couldn't have I didn't have any uh, fine brass wool. And I, I, I like this valve because if you want to shut your flame down, it's just it's just right now and it's uh, you know I think it's just a great thing to have on there. But um, yeah, this is a D3's design for the most part. Here's the uh, pencil torch that I had bought at Harbor Freight. The D3 said to tap this out, but I found that this metal on here, with my lack of uh, skill, was a little soft to tap. I, I, tore the, I tore the inside of it up pretty bad, and I uh, couldn't tap it with a damn, really. But the brass um, uh, here was a, it was a lot easier. I'm sorry, there's bronze wool inside of here, not brass wool. I think I said brass wool earlier. But uh, this brass is a lot easier to tap. It stays together a lot better. And um, anyway, that's the torch, man. I'm, uh, I'm inside of my house right now, as you can see. I'm in my, in my basement here. There's my bar. And, um, and I don't want to play with it too much inside my house. I think my girlfriend is going to have a fit. But, um, but once I put this unit outside in the garage, it's warmed up a little bit, then uh, we'll go ahead and... and get some more video and and uh we're gonna make some bigger batter torches and bigger batter units and uh find more things to do with them man uh anyway guys it's jeff sokol ran for fuel.net signing out